you know, screw being a good guy, a good war fighter. Um, you got to be able to execute everything flawlessly or we're all going to suck, you know? Okay, so I'm listening to you and and you're just bugging me out. Um, so I got to understand the mindset and, and help help me get into your mindset, um, especially when you were in active duty. Mm -hmm. You... Most people don't, even, whether whether you're a, a police officer, a, a fireman, any of these very, very dangerous jobs that we thank them for doing, mm -hmm. they don't want, you know, obviously, I'm sure firemen are aware I, I'm going to fight a fire, but they're not looking forward to getting that call that there is this five alarm fire going off, or yeah. I'm sure yeah. policemen are not looking forward to get in the call that there's an active shooter and he's holding an AR-15 or something because mm -hmm. their life literally is on the line. But I'm listening to you speak mm -hmm. and you guys, you're excited about those high profile calls. Yeah. You're oh, excited yeah. about those high profile missions when all the while your life, like literally your life is on the line. Help me to understand the mindset. Is, is that something that you're born with? Is, is it something that they that they implement into you? Like this this ten percent at best uh, of 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 the people who graduate and become special ops. Mm -hmm. What is it that they have that we just don't have as civilians? Mm -hmm. Never looked at it like that when you compared it to like a, a firefighter going to like a five alarm fire. Um, they don't hope for things like that, but yeah, we, like, I got chills thinking about it of, we live for those missions of the most dangerous, the most hectic ones of, Hey, we're going to be outnumbered, outgunned, and we're going in. I love that. I love that, that it's a rush. It's a rush. And it's the only time I think we'll be able to see actually how good we are you know we strive so much for perfection and and being the best at what we do the ultimate test for us to pass the only test for us to pass is to go out naturally perform it in the most harshest conditions with your life on the line i think that i don't think that was like put into us i honestly think it, it, you have to be born with it like i've never not I don't remember myself not being that way of, I like doing dangerous things as a kid. Um, I like, yeah, I like doing dangerous stuff as a kid, stupid stuff as a kid, because I like the rush of it. I liked, I just like the rush of it, of seeing if I could do something. And as I got older and joined the army it, and joining the uh, Ranger Battalion, it was like, the ultimate rush you could get was how close can I get to death and defeat it? Um, that, that was the ultimate rush is going up to death's door, knocking on it, having the Grim Reaper answer it and shaking his hand and telling him to go back inside. This is my house now, you know, you know that, that having ooh. that rush, that rush, it, it's, it's something I think is you're born with. You have to like, you have to want that. Yeah, you just, you have to want it. It's it's the ultimate of who you are as a person. You know, I think I'm this way, but can I do it? You know, and, and to a, to a, to a, every human on earth, I would believe everyone has a certain natural fear of death, you know, because we, it's the unexpected, but knowing that conquering that fear it's like the ultimate rush, the ultimate satisfaction I can get as a spirit, as a human being of conquering death. You know, you're not necessarily conquering it, but you're you're putting it at bay for 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 the for the for the time being in the circumstances that you know are playing out where death is almost imminent to be able to put it at bay and conquer it for that brief moment. It's like the only time you'll ever be able to to conquer death it's going to eventually catch up to us you know whether we like it or not but being in that moment 
where the conditions are at which you can conquer it for that time being is like the ultimate. It's like the old images of like Satan, my our Gabriel putting his foot over Satan, conquering Satan. You feel like that's what it kind of feel like our, our Michael, the archangel, you know, conquering Satan. You kind of have that. That that's what I felt like at times of like I'm conquering the devil. You know, I'm conquering death. You're on top of everything at that point, you know. I think you're born with it. I think you're born with it though. Yeah, I you know, I I I, I gotta agree with you because even as you're speaking, th this is you can be you can be trained. Um you can be in an environment with folks just like yourself. But if this is not something that you're actually born with, your natural human instinct is to get to safety. Get me the hell out of here. This is not comfortable. This is not where I want to be. Bullets are flying over my head. Mm -hmm. I, I, I thought that I wanted to go into the harshest situations on planet Earth. But none of this is cool. None of it. And I got to believe that <laughs> there are soldiers mm -hmm. uh, who, who find themselves in combat that, that realize very, very quickly, I, I, I probably made a mistake. Yeah. While, 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 while my brothers are shooting, while my brothers are fighting, I'm literally curled over mm -hmm. and I can't move. Mm -hmm. because i'm scared to death wow you yeah, that's crazy you what's up guys thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video truly appreciate you if you like anything you heard here today go ahead and hit that subscribe button and if you know anybody that can benefit from this message feel free to share peace and love make every move a power move and i catch you all on the next video